Amen, amen. I'm Pastor Alicia Williams. Welcome to Life in Christ International Church. This is our midweek Bible study. This month is the month of November. And we know here at the church, we try to deem each month to glean and learn from the Bible and what the Bible teaches. And so with this being the month of November, we here at the church have deemed this month as the month of Thanksgiving. So what that means for us here is that all month long, we will be intentional about getting in the word of God, learning and gleaning as much as we can about what the Bible teaches us about Thanksgiving. So this month of November, November 2022, is our month of Thanksgiving. And so with that, we're going to go ahead and get right into our midweek Bible study lesson. Thank you for, for being a part of this uh, um study. Thank you for being a part of, 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 of this time together in the Word of God. And with that, we're going to go ahead and open with the Word of Prayer. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for our month of Thanksgiving. Help us, O oh God, prepare our lives, prepare our hearts, O oh dear God, to move in you, with you, through you, by you, and for you to another place of Thanksgiving. Father, we ask, Father, for your anointing over this time, for your anointing over the reading of your word, for your anointing over this study. May you, oh dear God, continue to have your way. We love you, Lord. We bless you, oh God. We thank you for life in Christ in the National Church. We thank you, Lord God, for our midweek Bible study lesson. We ask, oh God, that you will continue to have your way. We lift this time up to you now, God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So we come together tonight to open the Word of God, to read the Word of God, and to learn and glean as much as we can about what the Bible teaches about Thanksgiving. I'm grateful for this month. I'm grateful to God for this season. Um, I was listening to the Christian radio station this morning and I heard one of the uh, DJs say that we get so busy, that, that our lives get so full, that oftentimes we fail to be thankful for a lot of things. And, and uh, we fail to even uh, uh, thank God and praise God. And so we thank God for this time. We thank God for this season. And we will not take advantage of this time. We will um, be intentional and be earnest about seeking the face of God, about what, is by, what, what the Word of God teaches us, and allow us to glean and to learn, to bring our life up, um, to a better place in thanksgiving and giving thanks. And so we move tonight into our month of thanksgiving. And here at the church, we have deemed this month, this month of November, as the month of thanksgiving. And so our, our, our thanksgiving season, as we already know, is upon us once again. And, and to me, it seems that... Um, at the top of the year, when, when the Lord was ministering to us about, about beginning, um, um, and, and we were gleaning and we were learning as much as we can about new, it, it, it seems like that was just yesterday to me. And, and, and so now, tonight, the Lord uh, leads us into this Thanksgiving season. The Lord God leads us into this month of giving thanks and being thankful. And, and it's, it's amazing because, and, and, and I hope you can grasp what I'm saying on tonight, just simply it's amazing because God is real. And I pray that you can hear me. It, it's amazing tonight because our, our life experiences and, and our expectations and our needs are real. And so tonight, I felt a burning desire, like I had to start tonight in the book of Job. And, and, and I, I know, I know <clears throat> the book of Job is not often a book referenced for Thanksgiving or, 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 or a book that's uh, referenced or recognized as, as a book of, of Thanksgiving in the Bible. It's, it's often recognized as a book of suffering but but in the book of job it's 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 main focus 
that 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 we the story that we hear time and time again is about suffering but but as a lord shifts us and 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 as he shifts our life and and as the lord lead us into this month of of thanksgiving it is i believe necessary for us to find and I hope that you hear what I'm saying, divine thanksgiving. And, and, and most importantly, if you, you have a call, a calling of suffering, and, and that's another study. Um, I won't, won't even touch that right now. But of course, this is not what tonight is about. Tonight is not about suffering. Tonight is about Thanksgiving. We're not signing up to suffer or are we trying to, to downplay any manner of suffering? And and, and <clears throat> I, I wouldn't wish any level of suffering on, on no one. But I do want to emphasize what is important and what is important and what I believe is divinely necessary is coming into a place of thanksgiving in and with and through God. Hear what I'm saying? No matter what. We, I, I know that we face and can face some unbelievable challenges, unbelievable circumstances and situations. You live life long enough. I know that. But tonight it's about Thanksgiving. We're not going to rehearse our suffering. We're not going to go there. Um, this is about the Lord God bringing us to a place of Thanksgiving. And, and, and so as we allow the Lord to, to move us and, and, and shift us into our month of Thanksgiving, it's, it, it's a place where, where, where we're required, where, where we need to, we, we must lean Holy and completely in God. The 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 essence, and, and I'm gonna try and slow this down and make it plain and clear. The the essence of Thanksgiving, it, it it doesn't come all the time when things are good. It 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 doesn't always reveal itself at our, during our mountaintop experiences or, or, or our defining moments. But, but here tonight in the book of Job, in the midst of what I call divine suffering, I believe the Lord, um, um, he, he helps us. Um, um, and, and sometimes in life we, 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 we know that that it's not always a, a bed of roses and and i believe in those instances and 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 during those times that's when we need god's divine thanksgiving the most and i and i think i think i think we got that and I, and I believe that the Lord know and understand that, that we got that, what we, what we need and what we're petitioning for him uh, 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 in this season on tonight. So tonight, our Bible study reading takes us into our Old Testament scriptures. And of course, we already know it is yet another familiar Bible story. But, but this time, it's, it, it's about what I call divine thanksgiving. The, the, the thanksgiving that comes ultimately from God. And, and so that, that helps us to, to, to recognize the, the, the title of our very first midweek Bible study on Thanksgiving. And so tonight our Bible study simply is Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving in the Bible. And I think I already shared that the Lord kind of has us here till the end of the year. Um, um, where the Lord is ministering about himself in the Bible. The Lord is ministering about himself in the word. The Lord is ministering about himself in his spirit. And the Lord is ministering about himself in Christ. And so let us get right into, uh, for the sake of time, reading the word of God. And, and, and tonight we are reading just a few short verses, but God is ministering, I believe, to our souls tonight about 
divine thanksgiving and, and I know you keep hearing me say divine thanksgiving um tonight's lesson is specifically about thanksgiving in the bible but when you hear me say divine thanksgiving I believe we have a sense of thanksgiving I believe we all have a notion of thanksgiving thanksgiving comes when we feel good when things work out in our favor mostly but tonight we're talking about divine uh, uh, thanksgiving when when our circumstances don't add up <laughs> when 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 the situation is totally out of control it makes absolutely no sense this type of thanksgiving is not determined by what we see it's not determined by what we hear it's not determined by what we feel so so i wanted to clarify that why i keep saying uh, a divine thanksgiving and and so that we're all on the same sheet and so i'm going to turn tonight you know i always encourage to read the word of god read it out loud we're turning tonight to in our Bibles to the book of Job we're reading tonight Job the 42nd chapter verses 7 through 12 of course we're going to be reading out of the Amplified Bible and so in this um, book we're, we're the, the, the Bible story we're familiar with we, we know that chapter 42 the very last chapter of, of the book of Job happens after Job's divine loss and and it happens after Job's divine suffering it, it happens after his friends who were supposed to comfort and support him instead they they in their arrogance and insensitivity in, in they 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 offer only criticism and, and and judgment so so tonight this study helps us get to a place of understanding thanksgiving in the Bible. I know it, it, it may seem uncanny to, to, to speak of even mentioning thanksgiving after loss and after suffering and after criticisms and, and, and judgment. But but I want you to just just walk with me just for a minute. Um, just, just stay in step with me just for a minute because it is a great essence that, that we possess and that we live out a life of divine thanksgiving. And, and when, when, when I say suffering and when I say loss and, and all those other things, I know it's it's what they call juxtapose. It's 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 night and day it's 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 oil and water but but that's where we find what i call divine thanksgiving and 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 tonight in our bible lesson the the, the story of job leads us to this place and so we're starting our month of thanksgiving intentionally in what I call a difficult place. I, I don't want us to, to believe that Thanksgiving only exists when things are going well or when we are in our high times. And and, and the reason for that, my, my why for that is because God is real. And, and, and so we know we're reading and we're studying tonight out of our Amplified Bible here at the church. And, and as we go into this, this time of Thanksgiving, into uh, 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 the Word of God and allowing the Lord uh, 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 to begin our lesson tonight on Thanksgiving in the book of Job, it's, it's, it's of course, the very last chapter after Job's suffering. And, and, and that's where we're picking up the word of God tonight. Um, and, and so let's turn there. Let's turn to Job chapter 42, verses 7 through 12. Again, we'll be reading tonight out of the Amplified Bible. I want you all to read along with me. Job 
chapter 42, starting at verse 7. In the Amplified Bible, it says, It came about that after the Lord had spoken these words to Job, that the Lord said to Eliphaz, the Timonite, My wrath is kindled against you and against your two friends. For you have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has. Now therefore, take for yourselves seven bulls and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up a burnt offering for yourselves. And my servant Job will pray for you. For I will accept him and his prayer, so that I may not deal with you according to your folly. Because you have not spoken of me the things that is right as my servant Job has. So Eliphaz the Timonite and Bildad the Shuhite and Zephar the Namathite went and did as the Lord told them, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. Verse 10, the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he prayed for his friends, and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Verse 11, then all his brothers and sisters and all who had known him before came to him and they ate bread with him in his house and they consoled him and comforted him over all the distressing adversities that the Lord has brought on him. And each one gave him a piece of money and each a ring of gold. Verse 12, and the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camel, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. We're going to stop right there. And so, if we are familiar with this uh, Bible story, we know that Job lost his children, and we know that Job's wife told him to curse God and die, and we know that Job uh, uh, got boils all over his body, and, and we know that Job's friend, friends came, and they were supposed to comfort, but instead it became um, criticism, and, and it became judgment. So, so, so that brings us to this instance in God. That brings us to this, this, this place of what I call divine thanksgiving. And and when we look at um, all that Job had suffered, all that Job had 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 went through to get to this divine place, we, we see that. And, and, and I, I want us for a minute to, to take some time to, to, to remember and focus on what God said. I want us to, to remember what Job's friends did and, and what God uh, 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 told them to do and, and what Job did. I believe this is important tonight because this leads us to the place, as the scripture says, of speaking of what uh, uh, is right. And in the scripture, when, when we read in the verse, God reminds Job's friends that, that, that they, they were in folly. And, and that the Lord wasn't pleased with them because... And the scripture calls it, they did not speak uh, of God what is right. That's what the scripture says. And, and so for a minute, I, I want that to resonate in us. For a minute, I want us to, 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 to capture that, to, 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 to recognize that. 
Even if we earmark it now for the Lord to minister that in our lives later down the road, it's important that we earmark that. And so it leads us, I believe, to, to the place of prayer for our friends, which is what I call ultimately the place of thanksgiving, the place where the Lord mends our hearts and our minds and our souls from, from, from all the suffering, from, from, from all the loss and, and all the criticisms and all the judgment. When, when we look to thanksgiving in the Bible, when we, when we truly look for what I call divine thanksgiving, it's not found in the suffering. It, it, it's not, not found in the loss or, or in the atrocities. The, the, the divine place of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving in, in, in the Bible is found because of it's 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 because of the suffering it's be because of the loss and 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 all of the other stuff that 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 that, that transpires when the when the enemy is hard on your tracks it's 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 because of and and, and I hope you can hear what I'm saying tonight it's because of the hard times and, and the obstacles and the difficult days and difficult months and difficult moments. And, and the Lord God leads our lives to divine thanksgiving. Thanksgiving in the Bible. We get to see what thanksgiving in the Bible looks like on tonight. Now granted, we are human we are our, our carnal nature. We know that it can go the other way. We can be bitter. We can be unforgiving. We can be unthankful. All those things that cause us to be separated from the very nature, the very essence, the very character of who God is. But we, we sweep that away. We reject that that other side and we choose God every single time and God helps us to choose him every single time and so the Lord leads our lives tonight to what I call divine thanksgiving the Lord leads us to a, a thanksgiving in the Bible and and what we see here is, is that the Lord was working in the background. Well, when we look at the text, the Lord told Job's friends who, who thought they were doing right, that, that his wrath is kindled against them because they did not speak of God what is right as God's servant Job has. That's the whole revelation that the Lord brings us to tonight. That we are doing what we think is right. What God reveals to us. That that that's not what what is right. God reveals to us that we have not spoken of what is right in God's sight as God's servant, Job. And I'm going to slow down right there because that's a whole different Bible study lesson. But tonight we see in the scripture that, that, that God told Job and, and, and uh, um, Job prayed for them. And, 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 and God said that he would accept Job and, and accept Job's prayer. Notice that it's, it's, it's twofold. 
the, the scripture unfolds for us. The scripture reveals to us that it's twofold. God said that he would accept Job. That's one fold. And then God said he would accept Job's prayer. That's the second fold. And so tonight, the Lord is revealing to us divine thanksgiving. The Lord is revealing to us what thanksgiving in the Bible looks like so that he can enable us to see it, to receive it, to become it, to do it, to live it out in our lives. And so you, you, you hear what the Lord is saying and, and, and the scripture allows us to, to see what, what Thanksgiving in the Bible looks like. I believe that we all want divine Thanksgiving. I believe that we all need divine Thanksgiving. And, and, and there's a place, slow down just a minute, there's, there's a process after suffering, after loss, after the criticism and, and the judgment. See, see, Job had to be in the right place with God. Job, Job needed to, to have a heart and a mind and a soul filled with divine thanksgiving in order to be enabled to pray. In order to be enabled to have God accept Job and have God accept Job's prayer. And, and, and if we, I, I need to say this, allow our, our, our sufferings, if we uh, allow our, our losses, and, and I can make a list, all the ill will, all of the fiery darts, all of the wickedness of man to, to, to steal from us, to, to, to kill and to destroy our divine thanksgiving, if we allow. And, and so I'm here simply hoping to remind us that it's, that's not what God has intended. I'm here hoping to remind us that we know that, that, that God has intended for us to fully embrace and embody divine thanksgiving. And so tonight, for the sake of time, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pause right there because I, I believe the, the Lord uh, paints a picture for us to see Thanksgiving in the Bible. And, and he does it in and with the life of Job. And, and it doesn't start off pretty. We know that. And, and we know that. There was suffering, there was loss, there was, there was criticism, there was judgment. The scripture reveals it to us, it shows it to us. But in the end, there is supernatural, there is, there is God's divine revealing, as it says in the scripture, that the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. <laughs> this is so powerful. This, I mean, if we grasp this, just the inch of it, this is so powerful. So in the scripture it reveals that the Lord, it says the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. And so tonight, when we come into a place of divine thanksgiving, we come into this month of November, we come into this month of, of, of thanksgiving, and the Lord graces us to see thanksgiving in the Bible through the life and testament of Job. I'm thankful tonight. I'm not always thankful for my circumstances or situations or the demonic attacks. But 
but I know God is real. And I'm thankful tonight for the Lord uh, uh, allowing us to come into this place of Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving in the Bible. We know that the word is active and alive. And even after our midweek Bible study is over, even after uh, this time in the Lord uh, uh, finishes, God is still at work. His word is still at work. His spirit is still operating on our behalf. And we thank the Lord for that on tonight. So with that, I'm going to close tonight with our weekly announcements. I don't want to want us to miss out. We are in the month of November. And so... That means that our uh, Sunday school lesson is every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. That means that our midweek Bible study is every Thursday evening at 7.30. We're praying for our international pastors. The Lord is going to bless our international pastors or churches, actually, for this um, uh, 2022 year, fiscal year, with their, their Christmas love offering. We thank the Lord for them. Um, so continue to keep our international pastors in your prayers. We want to continue to pray for our young people, continue to pray for our parents, and pray for, for um, our Costa Rica mission. We're praying that the Lord will allow the things to come together to, to make that work. And so with that, we're going to close out tonight. Thank you for being a special part of Life in Christ in the National Church. Thank you for being a part of this time. I know that the Lord, the divine Thanksgiving, will continue to manifest itself in every area, in every aspect, in every part of your life because God is good. Um, and even those that, that come into your presence uh, because God is is real and we thank him for that on tonight be blessed be supernaturally blessed and we'll see you back here sunday morning for our sunday school time god bless